I wonder if I should blast her with a water hose. Mm -hmm. No, that wouldn't make any sense because it'll make a mess. And then when Mama comes back, she'll be really upset. <gasps> oh my goodness, I know who I can call Miss Nori, my old babysitter. She loves me so much. I know she'll do anything for hey. me. I'm just about ready. Yeah, thank you so much for being able to come last minute. I'm really happy my cousin was able to recommend you. No problem. I look forward to meeting you and your children. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Okay, thanks. Girls! Yes, Mom? I was able to get a babysitter, so please be good and listen to her. Coco. I don't want to hear that you did anything that you're not supposed to. I'm not, but these two... No, Coco, I'm talking to you. Okay, okay, she's here. Hey, hey, come on in. Hey. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. You know what, you actually look familiar. Yes, I, I bet I do. I met you and your daughter a few weeks ago when she ate my sandwich. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry about that. I told you I'd see you soon. You still hungry? <laughs> well, come on in. Uh, these are my daughters, Ari and Rhea, and you already know Coco. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think this is a good idea. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I promise Coco is gonna be on her best behavior. Um, I'll see you guys later. There's food in the fridge. They already took their best. Okay, bye. Watch a movie. Oh, movies. What movie are we watching? Whatever you all would like. How about Creepy Crawlers Take Over the Universe? <laughs> no, no scary movies. You know they're going to give you nightmares. No, it's not. Miss Nori, do you like scary movies? No, not, not really. I'm so happy you're here. What? Oh, God! Come on! Ooh, it feels like a puppy. Well, it's not. <laughs> Nori, but just to let you know, your your puppy hat is a little sideways. Hey, I'm back. Uh, how did everything go? How does it look like everything went? It's falling off. Oh. So I'll, I'll call you next week. Uh -uh, do not call me. I told you this is exactly why I don't like other people's kids. Bye. Bye, Miss Nori. Hello. Hi, Miss Nori. Long time. I'm sorry, who is this? It's me, Coco, your favorite, remember? I know not Coco, whose mother is Ava Streety. Yep, that's me. How'd you guess? Oh, no, 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 no. Coco, it was good talking to you, but I have to go. Have a great day. Wait, 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 Miss Nori. I didn't even get a chance to tell you why I'm calling. I know you have a really busy day, but I really need your help. If it's in regards to babysitting you, it's a capital N-O. Why is that? What, actually, wait, wait, I'm calling because I'm in danger. Uh, danger? Wh where's your mom? I, I don't know. She's been missing for a while and I'm really scared. Is, is anyone else home with you? No, it's just me. Mama disappeared and I think it may be bad. Really bad. Oh my God, Coco. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, what happened? Tell me everything you remember. Tell me, what happened? Well, um, last night I ate dinner. It wasn't really good though, but I ate it. Um, and then I watched TV for a little bit. Uh, I kicked my feet back. I relaxed. Coco, focus, focus. We have to figure out what happened to your mom. Oh, oh yes, yes. So after dinner, Mama read me a story. She gave me a kiss, and then she went to bed. Okay, are you sure? Well, yes. Because, you know, last night I was having one of those dreams, you know, the ones like when you're on the toilet and then you pee pee on yourself. But this time I, I didn't sleep all the way through and I woke up and I walked down the hallway and I went to the bathroom. And when I was on the way back, I peeked in mama's room because I always make sure she's okay and she was in there sleeping. Okay, good. Then what? I woke up this morning, I looked for her everywhere. Nothing. She just vanished. She's just gone. This is crazy. I'm, I'm going to call the police. No, please. Don't call the police. They're going to take me because Mama left me home alone. Please, let's just try to find her for us. But what if something happened? I'm sure it did, but it's nothing that the police can handle. Coco, what does that even mean? Exhibit A. 
I found this green stuff on her sink. Oh my goodness, what is that? Exactly. Exhibit B. What's this? Hmm. I have no idea. Right. Now check out this last one. Exhibit C. <gasps> what is that? Uh-huh. That's who took mama. I've been doing some research and I've learned that there are aliens coming around here abducting people from their houses. And this one just so happened to leave her lips. Okay, we have to do something. We can't. Why? Because they left someone in mama's place. And we don't know what she's capable of. Who and where? Upstairs in mama's room. I saw her earlier, but I didn't let her see me. Okay, follow me. Let's let's grab a bat or something. Okay, Miss Norm. We go in here, we only get one shot. Okay? Okay. On three. One, two, three! Happening. What happened to my mama? What are you talking about? It's me. No disrespect, lady, but you are not my mother. Girl, what are you even? Is that you, Miss Nori? Yes, it is. And your daughter has done it again. It never fails. That is not my mother. Listen, I called Miss Nori to help me get you up out of here. I cannot believe this. Oh, so. You was just doing one of your old people regimens? I was relaxing and doing my self-care routine. Thank you, though, for being there for Coco, despite the past. <laughs> uh, I truly do appreciate you being there for me. It means a lot that you were just a phone call away. Uh, Coco, you know what? This, this actually was kind of fun. Yeah, I thought so, too. Maybe we can hang out again in the future? You know what? That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Yay! Okay, but before you go, I need to tell you something. The last time you were with us, some of my ant farm accidentally got in your wig, and that's why you were itching for a week. I heard about the itching. And now you're up to munchkin. <sighs> I'm just trying to get this done, but mama, every time I write something down, I think I have it, and then I just get stuck. Oh, well, maybe I can help you. What are you working on? Okay. I'm gonna tell you, but can we please just keep this between us? Of course, yes. I'm running for class president at school. OMG, this is great, Coco. I always envisioned the time would come. President Constance Trudy, AKA Coco. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of second guessing it now cause I just can't come up with the right words. How about you start with? Uh-uh, Mama. Now, I know you get excited about these things, but Miss Giggle Gaggle says that it's important for the words to come from me with meaning. I know, I know. I'm just trying to help. Okay, well, let's hear what you got so far. Okay, uh, let's see. Hello, class. Mm-hmm. That's all I have. Coco, you've been working on this for two hours, and all you have is hello, class? See, I was brainstorming, but it seems like I got caught in the storm. Oh, yes, it looks like the storm wiped you out, ma'am. <laughs> okay, think about what life would look like if you were president. What policies and laws would you want in place? Well, you know, I was president. Hmm, you know what? That actually helps a lot, mama. You do? When, when I was a little girl. I remember, mama. Oh, I do? Well, how could I forget? You only have the picture on your desk and you tell me the story like twice a month. <laughs> oh, thank you, Coco. You know that- Yes, but that's okay, Mama. You have a lot to be proud of and I'm proud of you. What's wrong? Uh, I I'd love to chat, but I really have to get back to work. <laughs> oh, right, right. Well, if you need anything, I'll be upstairs. All righty, Mama. Thanks again. No problem, Coco Bun. All right. If I was pleasant, what policies would I have? Oh. All right, go get my shoes. Rhea, clean the kitchen. All right, go do something else for me. I don't care. Rhea, go do something. Everybody do everything for Coco.
Hey, girl. Oh, so Coco doesn't want me to say anything, but I am just so excited. Okay, my baby is running for president. I know, I know. Okay, shh. Okay, okay. I'll tell you more after she gets home tomorrow and she gives me the green light to tell people. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good morning, my little president. I see you were up working hard all night. Good morning, mama. <sighs> yes. It just seems like the words just begin to flow. So I took your advice. And you know what? I think I'm just going to speak from the heart. Well, I am happy to hear that. Okay, go get ready for school. On it. Definitely is. Well, Mama, I guess I'll see you later. Crown the new president of the fourth grade class. All right now, baby. Okay, class. Today we'll be listening to speeches by those running for class president. First up, we have Coco. Uh, oh, uh, I, I wasn't really ready here to go forth, but I can. Hello, class. My name is Constance Streety, and I'll be running for your class president. I plan to make a lot of changes around here because we the children have a voice and our voices need to be heard. First, we're gonna start with longer recesses, yeah. better lunches, yeah. and how about this, no more homework. Yeah. That's right. Well, unfortunately, I don't really have the power to do any of that. Aww. However, if you guys listen to me and do as I say, I can make those changes for you. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to treat your president like a queen. You do every single thing I say, okay? And you're going to get everything you guys want, okay? Yeah. All right. to say but okay miss giggle gaggles so how did it go tell me everything mama they were like all on me like go 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 like they love me mama i won this i know i'm gonna be the president tell me more i am so proud of you well they were excited they were happy they want me to be their president <laughs> coco that is so awesome now we just have to get you some little president clothes Oh, do we? Remember, I, I, I'm still just a kid. Oh, right, right, sorry. Oh. Hello? Oh, hi, Miss Giggle Gaggle. Oh, I see. Oh, she did. Okay, well, I did give her a little advice to think about what policy she might want in place, but yes, I do apologize and I will have a talk with her now. Okay. <laughs> what really happened today? Well, when I look at it through my eyes, exactly what I told you. Well, Mrs. Giggle Gaggle says otherwise. She said that you told the class that they'll get free lunches, longer recess, and no homework. Now they're expecting something you can't give. Oh, well, you told me to think about what policies I wanted, and I did. Well, not those. Unfortunately, you've been disqualified and it doesn't look like you'll be president, Coco. Oh, well, I think it's just that Miss Giggle Gaggles didn't have her glasses on today, so she just couldn't see the vision. Coco for president! Yeah, I'm too, little lady. Uh, Mama, weren't you a cheerleader in like 1920 or something? I was a cheerleader and it was in 2006, thank you very much. Oh, close enough. <laughs> Hush up! Why? Well, before you get all excited and go tell the whole world, I was thinking about trying out for the chill team. That is so awesome, Coco! You know, I was a cheerleader a long time ago. I know, Mama. That's how I know you're about to get so I am so happy for you! Overly excited. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just excited that you decided to follow in your mommy's footsteps. 
You know I still think I have my old pom-poms from high school. Oh no, mama, please. The amount of dust that they've gathered over the years, I'm sure is more than I can handle. Girl. Well, what are you gonna use? Um, I, I can just use these for now until I actually become a giant cheerleader. Oh, baby, you're gonna be a little giant cheerleader? I am so excited. Okay, how can I help? Well, I, I wasn't gonna ask, but can you help me fix up my chair for the audition? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, let's see what you have so far. <sighs> okay, mama, I've been working really hard on this. Okay. All right, here I go. <laughs> Give me a C, C. You got your C, you got your C. Give me a O, O. You got your O, you got your O. Give me a C, C. See, you got your seat, you got your seat. Give me, oh, oh, uh, I got my, oh, I got my, oh, go Giants. Wow, baby, that was interesting to say the least. <laughs> so, so you think we should just leave it how it is? Oh, no, 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 let's, let's perfect it a little more. Uh, okay. Okay, let me show you how it's done. Come sit here and watch me. Let me just grab my pom-poms. Ready? Okay. Let's get fired up. Let's get fired up. Go. Giants, go. Go. Giants, go. Woo! Oh, mama, that was amazing. But, um, I'm just an amateur. You got this, Coco. Come on. Get up. Let me show you the first step. Thanks so much, Mama. This is definitely gonna get me on the team. I could see it now. Coco, the little giant. I'm probably gonna be the one that they're tossing in the air. We're gonna go to the right first. Let's get fired up. Let's get fired up. Good job. Now to the left, to the left side. Let's get fired up. Let's, Let's get, get fired, fired up. up. Great. Now to the middle. Go. Go. To the left. Giants. Giants. And the right. Go. Go. Good job. Now you want to bring it together? Okay, let's go. Let's get fired up. Let's get fired up. Let's get fired up. Go. Go. Sorry, Mama. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go to the middle. Go. Okay. Giants. Giants. Go. Go. Okay. Well, to the, okay, okay. Now, now you do it. Okay. Let's get fired up. Let's get fired up. Go, go. Giants, go. Go. Giants, go. Okay, I'm going to possess it. We're good. Good. Go, go. Thank you. Let's get fired up. and hope you make the team. Let me see you do it one more time and take my pom-poms for a little more flair. Oh, shoot, I forgot to show you the end. Don't forget the jump. Go, Giants, go, okay? Here you go. Oh, that's insane. Okay, um, let's get fired up, let's get fired up, go, Giants, go. Hold on. Let's get fired up, let's get fired up, go, Giants, go. walk their fish as a favor. What? Coco, stop. What happened at school? I specifically told you the only call I wanted from a teacher is if it's an emergency, right? Yes. Okay, so explain yourself. Uh, do you want me to start in the beginning, at the middle, or at the end? I just want you to start. 
Well, I was in class minding my own business, and then that's when it just happened. What happened? It just came out. It was a silent one, but it smelled loud. You passed gas? Yes, and all the kids, they could smell it, so they started making fun while they were trying to figure out who it was. And what did you do? Uh, I joined them and then became the lead detective. The lead detective on a case you already solved because you did it? Yes, but nobody knows that except for you, Mama. But Miss Giggle Gaggle, she got upset because we were all running around and she told us to sit down and stop being so loud. And everybody else did, but I did it because I was so involved in the case and I had to figure it out. But if your teacher tells you to do something, shouldn't you do it? Technically, yes, but my reputation was on the line. The last kid who farted in class, they called him Stink Stink for the whole year. Oh, no, that is not a reason to not listen to your teacher. That, that's easy for you to say, but I bet you never let a big one out in class. Well, actually, I do. I was in second grade, Miss Razzle Dazzle's class. I asked my teacher if I can go to the bathroom. I stood up out my seat and boom, it popped out. So yes, I do understand how embarrassing it could be. However, we are human and believe it or not, everyone passes gas. But why? I don't want smells coming out of me. Let me explain it to you. So there's certain type of foods that go into your stomach like fibers and sugars and starches that your small intestine is not fully able to digest. You know, like break it down. So when that happens, they move on over to the big intestine and that's where bacteria breaks it down to gas. Oh, wow. So everyone has these issues? Yes, Coco, everyone. It's not something to be ashamed of. And it's usually funny because it's a loud noise and it smells bad, but it's not something that's easily controlled. Oh. But back to what I was saying. What happened while you were playing detective? Um. I pointed at Miss Giggle Gaggles and I said, according to the data that I collected, Miss Giggle Gaggles, you seem to be very quiet over here. And it just so happened while you were gazing in the air, the smell filled the room. I also told her that she was guilty because her wig was pushed over to the side. I cannot believe you. You hate bullies, but you show bully behavior towards your teacher? I, I saw we. I didn't even realize that that was bullying. Oh, man. You cannot and will not place blame on someone else to cover yourself. Do you understand me? Yes, Mama. You owe her an apology. Write a letter now expressing why you're sorry. Okay. Dear Miss Giggle Gaggles, I truly do apologize for my behavior. I didn't realize I was being a bully, and everyone knows Coco does not like bullies. To be honest, I stink so bad after passing gas because Mama fed me something last night that didn't sit right with my tummy. I really don't know what it was, and I'm not even sure if she knows. Anyway, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings, and you can forgive me. If you want, I'll tell the class it was me. I really hope that's not what you want, though, because I just can't be tortured this year. Please don't do that to me. But again, I will tell them if you want me to. Anywho, thanks for teaching us and all that good stuff. I take it you're done? Yes. All right, great. Now flip the page and start writing. I will not put the blame on others to cover myself 1,500 times. You mean 15 times? No. Like 1,500? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> little rabbit of mine. I'll go. I'm so bored. What do you have planned for today, little lady? Oh, nothing. Probably just relax and, you know, be a kid and stuff like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. Well, I have a few runs to make, and then I'll be back, and we can go over your homework. Capiche? If you insist, when I said relax, I didn't really have homework in mind. Well, put it in your mind now because it's non-negotiable. Oh, great. Hip, hip, away. Okay, your cousin is upstairs if you need anything. Coco, please stay out of trouble. I'll be back shortly. Which, I guess that means nothing to you because it literally takes you a minute to destroy something. 
I'll be back. Actually, let me hurry up. Uh, hey, Serenity, you want to play a game? All she ever does is come here, stay in the room, and want to be on the phone all day. Well, whatever, I guess I'll watch a movie. Oh, so I'm going to put the sauce on the fish. And then, oh, what's that? Put the other razor. Okay. And then, how long are we going to look at it? Okay, now, oh. Smooth it is. Oh, it looks so nice and relaxing. I guess I did tell Mama I was gonna relax. Oh wow! I always wonder how Daddy got his face so smooth. Matter of fact, there is a piece of hair somewhere. On my face, I'm not really sure where, but I know it's Dale. Okay, let me go. See, I can see the look. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Okay, that's good. Okay, I can see the look. Function. So this is the shaving cream, guys, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Daddy's shaving cream. Shake it real good. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then I'll put... Uh, my got child proof on. Uh, it's not cocoa proof, though. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> it's not cocoa proof. Okay, so you go go like this, right? And then you're going to put on face like this. I might have too much. I'm not really sure. But that's how it goes on. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what to do with the extra. Um, okay. Just make sure you guys get it all on. Don't make a mess, though, okay? Because it's a lot. All right. So the next part after you get that situated on your face, you got to get your razor. It has a cap, so take the cap off and throw it, okay, so that it's out the way. Now, be careful, okay, because there's blades on here. Now, do I go down or up? Uh, we, can go, uh, we can go down for now, okay? So, you're going to put it here like this. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Oh, the hair is gone. Who the hell? Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh now. Uh Myself. I just can't believe this. Okay, here we go. All right, I got to put this. Okay, I'm going to get it off before my mama comes. Okay. I am back. I have to get those errands out the way. Why are you looking like that? Uh, uh like what? <laughs> Like you did something you have no business doing. Uh, uh, let's do that homework you were talking about. Oh, right. Let's get to it. So, the, the topic is about investing. And it's Miss Giggle Gaggle says that we have to make sure we put, you know, the money in so we can save. She was saying that. Coco, yes. take your hand down. Oh, no, it's okay. No, no, go ahead. Move it. Okay. Now. Okay. Are you bleeding? No. Uh, y yes. No. A little. Are you bleeding? Are you okay? Yes. What happened? 
well, I, I saw a commercial, and on the commercial, it was a man uh, shaving the face off, the hair off his face like Daddy does. So I, I wanted to shave the hair off of my face, too. You cannot be serious. Ouch. Coco, shaving is for people who have hair on their face. You have none. Oh, I thought I saw one growing. One? Yes, but I guess it wasn't worth it, huh? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty pigtails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco.